Hey gang! Welcome back to another cool manga animation tutorial. And replace animation with upscaling. In our previous upscaling tutorial, we learned how to upscale a single panel, which is an image to 4K. But what if you fall under these two categories? 1. I have already exported the animation, and I want to upscale it now. 2. I followed your previous tutorial and generated the animation using AI and the quality is bad. The second category is reasonable. In our previous tutorial, the output from the AI was barely 720p. Most of you asked me on how to upscale it to 4K for free. That's exactly what this tutorial is for. We are gonna upscale this animation. And also, if you wanna learn how to generate this animation using AI, you can refer to my previous tutorial. Now then, we are gonna change this animation to 4K. We are not going to use any online tool for upscaling. Most of them either gives you a watermark or the result is not 4K at all. We are going to use an open source tool. Head over to this GitHub repository. Link is in the description. This tool is called Video2x and it uses real ESR gone to upscale our videos. You can ignore all the content present in this repository and hover over to the installation. As you can see, there's installation methods for Windows and Linux. Click this and it'll install a setup file. Simply run the setup. My Defender is blocking it. But it's an open source tool, it's safe. Just click more info and click run anyway. Choose a directory and proceed with the installation. Some of them might get this warning which says the visual C++ redistributable is either not installed or the installed version does not meet the required version. You can ignore this. This won't cause any problem to our upscaling process. You can update the visual C++ online for free too. Once you run it, you'll see this simple workspace. Good thing about this is, you can do batch processing. You can upscale a bunch of videos in a queue. Let's start by adding our video clip. Once you choose your clip, a pop-up will open. In the first drop-down, it'll display your graphics card. Yes, I'm poor and I got a GT710. Well, in the next option choose video upscaling. In the filter selection, use real ESR gone which gives us the best quality output. Leave the scaling factor to 4. Now here in the model, if you have a good GPU, Choose any of the first two options. If you have a low-end GPU like me, stick with the third model. The first two model took a lot of time to export because of my low GPU. But both of the results are almost similar. In the encoder option, you can change the video file type to MP4 if you are comfortable with it. But MKV gives a better result because it preserves the quality of the video and doesn't compress it. Once done, go ahead and apply it. Once done, hit the start button in the bottom. The process took me around 22 minutes for a 5 seconds clip. It's because of my low GPU. The higher GPU you have, the faster the execution process will be. This is because, this open tool upscales each frame of your video. Which also means the longer your video is, the longer the upscaling process will be. And here we go. We changed this low quality animation to 4K, just like that with few clicks. If you guys found this video useful, feel free to hit the subscribe button and smash the like button as well. If you guys want to learn about more manga animation techniques, feel free to drop your ideas in the comment section and I'll eventually make a video about it. Thank you so much for your support till now. And until next time, this is Roni, signing off.